Hey everyone, it's Hayes, and oh my gosh, I woke up and just notification after notification, so many spoilers. Okay, we have a lot to discuss. So there's a brand new synopsis for Confrontation, a brand new synopsis for Collusion, one image for Confrontation, and then we have a lot of new images from the movie to discuss. So I'm going to do the stuff for the show first, since I know not everyone cares about the movie, and there's also less to discuss for the show, because oh boy, there's a lot for the movie, and if you just want to skip ahead now, let me tell you. There's going to be some Mary Shat scenes in the movie, and I am so beyond delighted. But anyway, like I said, we've got a lot to get through, so let's just start. So first things first, we're going to start with a synopsis for Confrontation, since that episode comes first. So the holidays are approaching and high school is almost over. I swear to God, we already know. <laughs> Anyway, the students have to choose their direction before the class council, a very important step that will decide their future. Their new class representatives will defend the wishes of their classmates, Lila and Chloe. Marin and Adrian are worried. What will be the next evil plan of these two pests that everyone now thinks are nice? So it's basically what we've been theorising. When the first synopsis came out, I was like, what? What's going on? But now I've done some research and I feel like this synopsis clarifies it a lot more. If you didn't know already, it seems that... At the end of college in France, which is basically like the end of middle school, I believe, you then will pick a certain high school to go to, depending on what you want to do in the future, whether that's as a job or maybe at university, it seems to be the case, but I'm not French, so don't quote me on that. However, you have to like fill out a form and you give it to your class reps, who were, I believe, Marina and Alia. Was Alia her deputy? I'm pretty sure she was. I don't know, they never did anything, so I kind of forgot. Um, but is now, of course, Lila in charge and Chloe is the deputy. So, like the synopsis says, super duper important, but it's now up to Lila and Chloe to, it seems like, present these ideas to the class council from what I've read online, and um, they will kind of give their input on if they think it's a good choice for that student. So in this situation, Lila and Chloe have a lot of chance to mess this up, and quite rightfully, as it says, Marina and Adrian are worried. I would be too. Like, Chloe, after what happened in Derision, is real. like, Adrian cut her off quite rightly, fair enough, but, like, she called him an imposter, she followed up with calling him that in emotion, she really has fallen out with him now. So, this isn't good. So let's talk about the confrontation image. So I believe, just from, like, their posture, I think this is Julica. Like, I feel like the top of it is her head, and she's usually kind of slumped over sometimes. She also has a very round head. So to me, this is saying Julica. And I feel like it's her being de purely because Ivan and Malen, like, Malen get so scared and anxious all the time. If she saw Julica being akumatized, I know Julica is her friend, but I think she'd run off. They both look pretty happy, and you can usually tell when someone's getting akumatized, you know? We all know what it looks like. They all know what it looks like. So I feel like this is her being de -acumatized. Now, what has happened to get Julika akumatized? I'm not sure. Maybe she's tried to stand up to Chloe and Lila. Ended with her getting akumatized. I don't know, because Lila and Chloe were going to try and ruin her future. I don't know. But I'm glad Milan and Ivan are there for her, and I'm sure it's all going to be fine. I mean, I'm really hoping in this episode... Lila and Chloe or whoever gets exposed. So now moving on to the collusion synopsis. So this is the episode afterwards. So the end of the school year is approaching. <laughs> we know. <laughs> and the rebellion is growing. Out of time and out of options, Monarch Daddy decides on a dangerous plan for his secret identity, but also very dangerous for Ladybug and Cat Noir. Unbeknownst to them, the villain is being helped by Lila, who, in the shadows, is controlling a Chloe who has become more evil than ever. So we kind of already got the first part of the synopsis where I think the rebellion is referring to the resistance thing, but I'm still not 100% certain. I don't know, but the second part, which is a new part, is definitely very intriguing. So Monarch Daddy is being helped by Lila, and as we all know, Lila knows who he is. However, as of right now anyway, Gabriel Babes doesn't know that Lila knows. And honestly, I'm not so sure she's going to tell him. I think I said this in my live stream on Saturday. But as of right now, Lila really does have the advantage in this situation since he doesn't know that she knows. So it's very interesting. So I think she's going to help him, but only obviously you know, to her own means, do it for her own... Um, her own benefit. You know, Lyle is not, she's not an altruistic person. She's doing it because she can get something out of it. Whether this is getting closer to Gabriel to try and be with Adrian, as we know at the end of Protection, she was like, oh, maybe I could be with him. And he was like, <laughs> sure. 
<laughs> or um, to get his miraculous or something to do with the alliance rings. Not 100% confident. But it is a bit strange that he's like allowing her to, you know, work with him since it seems like he really cut all ties with her in emotion, if you remember. So a bit strange why he's letting the schoolgirl help him after they, <laughs> after they fell out. Oh, Gabriel, why are you talking to children this much? But you know, um, but also the final part about Chloe becoming more evil than ever. Whilst I want the best for Chloe, this doesn't seem to be the season for that, sadly. Um, but Lila is definitely controlling Chloe, so I'm very intrigued to see what's going to go down. So that's all of the news about the show. Now we're going to move on to the movie and there's quite a lot to talk about. This video is going to be quite long for a spoiler video for me. So I'm going to link this down below where all these images are from. Basically it's like, I think it was like a news network, I'm not 100% confident though, did like a piece on Jeremy Zag and Miraculous in the movie because obviously it's coming out super duper soon. Uh, it's like less than like what, two months away now and the preview is literally a month away. Insane, super excited though. So they did like this piece on it and it kind of showed the behind the scenes look at making stuff so I'm going to link it down below for you so you can go watch it. It was very interesting to watch it's in French though but it was still super duper interesting because as well in the background you can hear some music at certain parts and um, so I'm just going to be going over basically in the order they appear brand new images basically. So the first one is um, Gaby Baby with his weird rectangular nose uh, sending an Akuma off. It's not super new but like we haven't really seen it all that much before. And then the next one <laughs> is like a work in progress shot of uh, Ladybug in I think Gabriel's house judging by the decoration. She's sat on the floor and then she just falls backwards on her back probably having completely had enough of absolutely everything. So the next one is another one of Gabriel and honestly not so sure I like the look with his hair and he is stood in front of Emily's portraits but then he walks away so I'm assuming you know he's just been down to his lair or whatever or down to the basement to see her and then as he walks away it seems he gets out Nuru who tries to fly off but then Gabriel like holds to his chest something purple so I'm assuming that's the miraculous. Not quite sure what's going on here. Also apologies as well for like the quality of these images like I said like they weren't like official screenshots released you'll see if you watch the video it was someone filming screenshots from the movie so yeah <laughs> it's not like the best quality some of these so the next section I think is very very interesting I think it's from towards the end of the movie so there's this shot and it's kind of orangey yellow and I was like what's going on here and then it sees Ladybug and Cat Noir in the same lighting and he seems to have I don't want to say drowned as in he's died because I don't think he's dead but possibly he's inhaled too much water and he's now unconscious but I think he's going to be fine and Ladybug is dragging him out of the water. Now this scene continues on in a few moments but first we also have Master Fu. <laughs> he looks so cute, I miss him. <laughs> and he seems to be holding something, not sure what it is but then, oh my gosh, the miracle box lights up. So if you remember on the top right in the middle in the circle is Ladybug and Cat Noir's Miraculouses, but then right at the top we have orange and yellow for the fox and the bee. On the sides is purple and green for the butterfly and the turtle, and then on the bottom is blue for the peacock. So it's good to know that those are the Miraculouses do exist, because like it's meant to be quite different, so I wasn't even sure if they did exist in this world. Like I just thought it might be just butterfly, ladybug and cat and nothing else. But I think some of you know that there's actually going to be a sequel to this film so if like Rina Rouge, Carapace etc don't appear in this one maybe in the next one I'd absolutely love to see them all in this style. So the next bit, a little bit strange, is Marinette stood in front of like <laughs> the ladybug symbol. I'm assuming it's kind of more like a, a dream sequence or something she's imagining. I don't really know. So the scene from before when Ladybug is dragging Cat Noir out of the scent, I believe this is the same scene continuing. She's checking on Cat Noir, making sure he's okay and I think they're on a bridge and she starts dragging him away because someone arrives and I'm assuming this someone, she looks pretty you know shocked, I'm assuming this someone is Hawk Daddy and as she's trying to drag him away he lands on the floor. To me it's him, he has kind of like purple pants. Again, this is like 
videotaping of a computer screen, so not the best quality. But that's what I think is going on. Then we have a shot of Ladybug using her yo-yo, but it's really far away. If I zoom in, the quality isn't great. Um, but also, like, during this section and during the transformation section of the video, you can hear Lou singing. So it's, oh, it's, oh it just looks so good. So that's what I'm saying. Please go and watch this video, besties, because it looks amazing. So the next bit is super unclear and is mainly filled with the back of Jeremy's head. A lovely head, Jeremy. <laughs> but I'm pretty sure this is Cat Noir and we can see him using his cataclysm. It looks like a green ball on his hand, kind of looks like that to me. And then I'm pretty sure he, for whatever reason, cataclysms Monarch Daddy in the face. Not again. Please don't. Don't do that again, mate. <laughs> it was traumatising last time. So, but honestly, I'm not 100% confident on that because you can see the quality of the images. Not super clear in this section since it's out of focus and, um, they took the bold move of focusing on the back of Jeremy's head. <laughs> so the next bit, oh my god, the Mary shot. So Marinette is leaping into Cat Noir's arms. It doesn't seem like a friendly hug. It seems like, oh my god, we're both gonna die. Save me, kind of hug. Now in the first image though, I'm not sure what's going on. My first thought was water, but perhaps it's actually butterflies. But I don't really know. They both don't look like they're having a great time looking by the facial expression. So I'm assuming he is saving her but I'm not 100% confident. So then the next section conveniently comes with like a little C marker that says Gabriel denies Adrian, which makes sense since Adrian looks pretty sad. So he seems to be like, maybe he came downstairs to talk to his dad about something. Gabriel, because he's Gabriel, says no. And Adrian goes back upstairs looking sad because he's been denied. It's about going to school. I don't know. And then we see like the foyer of, um, the house with the portraits of Gabriel Babes and Adrian and then my queen, Queen Natalie. She looks absolutely flawless. I can't wait to see her. Like, honestly, I feel like part of me is just watching this film for her. I love her. So the next bit is Natalie again with Gabriel Babes. We've kind of seen the start of the scene where he rocks up in this really cool car. He gets out and there is some dialogue in this bit. She says, like, they're all waiting for you in the showroom. So there seems to be some paparazzi going around and he is going into this place showroom i am assuming for fashion he's having a possibly a fashion show but i don't know that was all the context given so the next bit shows again the back of jeremy's head wonderful head so it shows probably right at the start because of what happens you'll understand why i'm saying towards the start of the film it shows people arriving for school so on the left we have nathaniel and then on the right we have nino on a skateboard i think and alex on rollerblades and they seem to be racing each other to school they both bump into nathaniel he doesn't seem very great about it and then nino rocks up on his skateboard and knocks into marinette who then knocks into chloe yikes and chloe spills some of her coffee onto like the tiniest drop onto her um shirt and then we see luca behind oh god he's shocked so also this scene at the top as well first day at school but oh my gosh it all just looks absolutely amazing i'm so excited to see it. all the air dates are on screen besties oh my word just we got given all the spoilers this morning and they all look absolutely amazing. So I'd love to know what you think of all of this, besties, and I'll see you in the next one.